Hey crew, the skies are starting to fill up and if you haven't flown since the pandemic, things have changed just a little bit. I wanna give you some tips to make your first trip a huge success. But first, let's get a little more comfortable. Okay, much better. Tip number one, be flexible. This should be your standard attitude on every trip, but especially now. Some place might be closed, some place might be open, but if you kind of carry that attitude of, well, I didn't get to do that, I really wanted to do that, it's been on my bucket list for years, you're probably gonna miss out on something that you could have seen that's really cool and maybe even better than what you wanted to see. Tip number two, bring snacks. There's kind of minimal options at the airport these days, so you don't want to count on being able to grab a burrito bowl. And so I like to bring a charcuterie board, uh, some hard boiled eggs, um, maybe some protein bars, just stuff like that. I throw them in a collapsible cooler so when I'm done with it, it collapses and doesn't take up a lot of space. And then I carry one of those blue freezer packs and that way you're not carrying ice through security, which turns into a liquid eventually. So bring snacks. Tip number three, hand sanitizer is okay. As a matter of fact, the TSA doesn't even care how much hand sanitizer you bring and they don't care about the 100 mils or the three ounces rule. Um, you can actually carry up to a 12 ounce bottle of hand sanitizer in your carry-on. So bring some of that. Also the flight attendants will give you a wipe when you get on the airplane and just wipe down everything you're gonna touch, including the air vents over your head, the window shade, seat belts, tray tables obviously. And if you have 12 ounces of hand sanitizer, you can make friends with your neighbor. Tip number four, hotel stays. They're not what they used to be. There's limited room service. The reception area doesn't always have food available. Um, but if you book an Airbnb, you can go to the grocery store and get your own food. Also, when it comes to hotels, the pools and gyms are, some of them aren't open still, but the ones that are open sometimes require a reservation or a time slot. So if you're checking in and you wanna get a workout in, make sure you ask them about booking a time slot to Go swim in that awesome hotel pool. Finally, tip number five, masks. You gotta wear them on the airplane all the time, basically. And does it suck? Yeah, kinda. But you know what else sucks? Not being able to travel. And also, wearing pants sucks, but you wear those, right? So just keep your pants on, keep your mask on, keep all your bodily fluids to yourself, and you'll have a great flight. Besides having to wear a mask and pants, it's a pretty good time to fly. Security lines are short and most of the Starbucks are open. So what else do you need? If I missed something though, let me know in the comments below. And if you know someone who's traveling soon, maybe send this video to them. Have a great day. I'll see you next week.